Thanksy ladies. Oh, we're a little bit later this morning. We've uh, had lots of things happen in our morning this morning. It's been a bit crazy. A bit of a car jam and kid stuff. And last night, Caitlin, who is in here, she's look, she's trying on things for us. I'm going to tell you all about this in just a second. Uh, last night, Caitlin was doing a, a ladies' night yep. in Hamilton. Yep. With Harry and Sam and yep. the beautiful makeup artist. Yeah, um, Gabby Houghton was her name. Gabby yep. Houghton. Yeah. Uh, looked amazing. Over yep. 90 ladies arrived and yep. had a beautiful styling session with Kate on stage, I assume. Yeah. Talking about all the different ways to wear some of the beautiful Harry and Sam clothing. Yeah. Um, actually, while we're on Caitlin, and she doesn't know this yet, but I've been stalking <laughs> her as I do from time to time, and I noticed that you had a beautiful post about... Um, Woman and confidence, and um, a actually you can you can tell me about it, but I kind of only like you know oh, how you skim read, and it was like oh my gosh, I want to sign up to this. I want someone telling me that you know I'm good and I've got this and I can do this. The hype and, team, yeah, the hype team, the hype yeah. team, yeah. little cheerleader yeah. in the background, yeah. and I love that concept. Yeah. Can you just tell the ladies because um, you said you kind of mentioned that there's been quite a big interest. Yeah. In it, so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, so, thank you. Um, it's a it's called the Confidence Project. So, basically, what it is is um, like weekly motivation and tips and think pieces around building your confidence and building your body image. Because I think sometimes, as a stylist, I see people and they really want to work on their style, but they're really hating on their bodies. And you actually can't work on your style until you're in a place with your body that you're even like okay with yeah. so like even body neutrality yeah. is fine like it doesn't have yeah. to be oh my god my body's amazing like that's yeah. right yeah but if you're like do you know what this is my body this is what it is this is where yeah. it is i want people to be able to get there and so yeah. what the confidence project does is yeah it kind of gives you like a, each kind of piece of content has a think piece and then an action piece oh yeah so it might be something like um, there's an incredible documentary called Embrace that I yeah. want people to watch and then come back and tell me what they thought oh, about it. Oh, great. Kind of thing. So, a little bit each, of homework. Yeah, exactly. There is but homework. But easy yeah. homework. It's not like an online course that you have to spend hours and hours a week doing and that you do like the first two weeks and then you drop off. Yeah. Whatever. It's just weekly kind of touch points because yeah. I think for me as well, growing confidence is not a one time overnight no. No. thing. Yeah. Um, but having these kind of like little touch points weekly that you can. Yeah. Um, kind of just absorb and there'll be sort of like a style element to it but I think it's almost like because I feel like online I'm probably 90% style 10% confidence but yeah. the confidence project is probably 90% confidence 10% style yeah. so it might be a style tip and then the explanation behind like physiologically what it does to you and why yeah, it's a good yeah. way to kind of boost your confidence yeah. so there's still style elements to it yeah um has actually a background in psychology way 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 uh -oh, back uh -oh. <laughs> background in psychology yeah well so, so that definitely qualifies yeah. you to be able to give advice yeah uh, on confidence and i certainly it's not therapy it's not therapy oh, it's not therapy on, no. <laughs> no that's good i think it's yeah. great uh, and I noticed a lot of ladies have already been yeah, like looking yeah. at it and um, want to yeah. be involved in it. So, yeah, um, yeah well, I definitely want to research it a little bit more. But congratulations. I think it's a good idea. So, ladies, uh, check out, you know, uh, Chasing Kate. Uh, we'll actually put a link through this, uh, through our post, um, this live. In the what we yellow, some kind of link, <laughs> to, <laughs> link to Caitlin directly, so you can yeah, yeah. show you how to get there, so you can see what we've been actually talking about. Um, because I do think a few of you ladies would really enjoy it more mm. than anything, and I think we do have so much confidence in many areas of our lives, like looking after our families, and doing our jobs, daily, yeah, doing our jobs, yeah. and then sometimes we forget about those little inner things that make us feel better. Yeah. Um, about, you know, just our own personal and self. And I think it then trickles out onto all those other things as well. Yeah. Mm. If you feel confident in yourself. Yeah. yeah. And it's, again, it's not about how you look. It's actually yeah. about that, you know, and... Yeah. Chief. Oh, <laughs> yeah, husband. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll text him. I think it's important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is really, really important. Yeah. And I, you know, like there's that, that old adage about, um, you know, uh, being kind to everyone. But if you're not kind to yourself first, it's yeah. very difficult to be kind to others. So... Um, it's the same kind of thing with your confidence in that. Anyway, we've completely digressed <laughs> because we've got the stylist in our lips here and you might notice that she's actually got some garments on. Now, we've had so <laughs> many of you ladies talking about our winter collect collection uh, and, you know, some of the pieces that I've been wearing that you want to get your hands on and so... Reluctantly, <laughs> I raided the room upstairs and I'm going to have to say goodbye to some of the, uh, the, the garments here that we sampled for winter. 
which is exciting for you because oh. you get to, uh, to have a look at uh, some of these pieces and to potentially one -offs. buy the one-offs. Yeah. Mm. So um, what we thought we'd do, we've got some pictures already, but we thought we'd throw Caitlin in some of the pieces so you can see them uh, on another body shape. So I think most of them are... Well, she's yeah, she's on. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 originally but I think moving and stuff as well. And yes. I'll talk you through some features and little videos. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, um, so this is one of the one of the garments. Um, this was a little cape, a very cool little cape that never made it out to the real world. Um, so it's an asymmetric. Um, there's all these details here, buttoning systems for the collar that you can have it uh, styled up and um, and groovy mm. like that. I mean, I, honestly, like I was designing this thinking of our beautiful South Island ladies. I don't know, it just gives me South Island vibes, mm -hmm. high country stylish farmer vibes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and then the underdress underneath this is actually, do you remember the Vogue dress of winter that we had out? That was a knit dress, and a lot of you ladies um, participated in that look. Um, I wanted to do the same style, but in a thicker, um, a thicker knitted fabric. Um, so, oh, um, poor Caitlin's having a moment. Um, so yeah, so this is the same uh, pattern of dress. I think I may have lengthened it a fraction, actually. Um, and so, remembering it's got pockets, uh, it's got wider side gauze in it, so you get that beautiful draping through the side mm. of the body there. Uh, it's got that lineal line in the in the knitted fabric, and you don't need to wear a slip under this one. Yes, I was going to yeah. say like even though it's like a knit a knit dress, it feels real nice and yeah. skimmy over. Yeah, bits. it's heavy. It's yeah. a heavy knit, so mm -hmm. it does skim. Yeah. So um, and that's something we can't we can't uh, give you that we can't show you the feel of it. So yeah, yeah that's a really good point. Um, it's got the weight to it, so it does kind of just uh, skim the body, which is quite cool. Uh, the neck on it is not too. Um, Choky, uh, if you no, yeah, so see that it's not it's not you know if you're a bit menopausal, ladies, it's mm. going to be fine. Uh, if you're not, don't worry, you'll be Wait. fine too. Here we go. Here's the stylist oh, doing her thing. Well, if you wanted to doing a little like tuck in. We just tuck it in if you want to as well. Um, oh god, cute. Could be a crew neck, just like that. Just like that. Uh, so um, I don't even know what we named this uh, anyway. It might be the ribbed. Is it the new Vogue dress? Yeah, the or? new Vogue dress or something like yeah. that. So there's only one in the navy, um, there's one in Whoa. khaki, there is one in uh, oatmeal colour. If you're that sort of Italian um, style lady, you could have this. Um, Some white boots, some yeah. white boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, amazing. Look, 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 it's yeah. popping out the bottom. Yeah, right. uh, and then you've got the black, the black's more like a charcoal. Charcoal black rib. <laughs> no, you've got enough clothes. Um, so yeah, so there were only and then the the um, the navy that Caitlin's got on. So there's only uh, four available. Look, if you're watching this and you're desperate to get your hands on it, I'm going to talk about size just briefly. Um, I can I can fit it. Uh, so I'm an eight to ten. Caitlin is a. 12. 12 in her upper body. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the bust also because there's plenty hey, of room. So, room. so no think, bust, fine. Some bust, really super easily, fine. I think a 16 could go into this. Do you reckon? Yeah, I do. Because I think I think it would be neater. But see, there's still quite a significant yeah, a drop off the shoulder. Um, yeah. So I think what it's normally a five centimeter grade. So I think you've got definitely room through there. Yeah. Um, and I think you've still got heaps of ease through it. So I think mm. on a 16, obviously it'll be a bit neater. Yeah. But great layering piece. Yeah, for um, you know, with jackets and things. Like yeah, that as well. those beautiful she lays that we never just, got going. <laughs> stretch in it, so I think yeah. it's easier sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's good. So it's a bit of a one size fits yeah. all situation yeah. by the sound of it, which is really good. Uh, and also the cape that um, that Caitlin had on. Oh, July. Um, we <laughs> <laughs> Someone that. Yeah. So your phone's um, going hot already. No, so that was uh, so uh, this cape is uh, in this beautiful um, a crew colour, uh, the bone crew colour, um, and uh, the fabric in this is quite a thick, heavy drill cotton. Mm. So it has a bit of starch to it. Like um, a canvas kind of yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. So um, it's got, it's going to give you a nice like level of warmth and heat. Uh, that is the same fabric, and what I'm going to call it has like a sort of a greasy dark khaki sort of tonal shade to it. Um, so that's the other colour in it. Um, now I want to point out that this one was I played with sampling it with armholes in it. So, so the one that Caitlin's got on has no little armholes here. You just pop your arms out the side like a cape. Uh, but this one, <laughs> this one has. So you can keep it on 
all the time, like a little jacket. I love it. And you'd poke your hands out here if you want oh, to be. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's got that one. Uh, and yeah, sadly that one. I did out. also do it in oh, like yeah. this sort of fabric here, which is oh, yeah, this is an elastine stretch fabric. Uh, and it has almost like a, a denim uh, look to mm -hmm. it. So it's, um, there you go, like you can see the underside there. It's sort of like a stretch yep, denim sort of vibe well. to it. Um, and so that's got a fraction more drape in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the same kind of fabric as the twiggy, wasn't it? Yes, like similar, yeah. kind of like yeah. different colour, but same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, beautiful. Anthea says, are these on your online store already? No, they're not. <laughs> um, so the thing is, you can either, the ladies just rung already, so you can either direct phone us on 0962219400, um, or you can uh, direct message us uh, and or wait till maybe, I don't know, a couple of three hours um, mm. for these to all be uploaded. But we just, we were late with our live, and then we're like, oh, we've got to show the ladies what we're doing in terms of sailing off our samples. And then um, we can only do one thing at a time. And so, we still have to um, figure out the prices as and well. And we're going to figure out the prices for you as well. Uh, now, if you really like that um, that beautiful knit sweater fabric, um, we have got these really cool oversized jumpers. Big slouchy um, uh, turtlenecks on them. Uh, and again, they're nice and warm split sides on them as well. So you can wear them partly tucked in, tucked out. Um, and they, do they... Yeah, they've got the thumb holes mm, here too, mm -hmm. so you can poke Very the little handy. yeah thumb through that. So nice little cozy, uh, again cozy layering piece. Oh, here we go. I don't know how Caitlin does it. So she's putting it over the top of her um, her uh, the English New Vogue, Vogue dress, dress to give you a bit of a conceptual idea what's... of what the fit is like. Uh, so this is a raglan sleeve. So the sleeves are cut away like that, which does mean you have a lot of flexibility with mm -hmm. the fit on it as well. Um, and so I'm probably going to say that'll fit like small right through to a medium. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's the length probably. And this split's quite good. Like I quite like being able to like, you can belt it and then mm. use the split to tuck. Yes. Like the front, but then I'll yeah. to the front of jeans. So I'm a little split quite, um, yeah. Handy. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's my little biscuit shade. So again, we've got uh, the ink here. Uh, in this sort of a crew biscuit shade there as well. I think that's the only sort of two colours there. Um, what else can we run through? Um, this here is our a combination of our waterfall front Vogue uh, no, Verona. Verona dress. It's in the fabric that you lovely you ladies love. It's that um, the same as the denim tinsel, tinsel, which is really it's a natural fibre. Uh, it's warm but breathable, and it's very very soft. Uh, and again, this this hangs and floats really really nicely. It's very very drapey fabric. So it has a box pleat. What I've done is I've eliminated the high low situation in it. So it's just a one, uh, yeah, it's just one length uh, mm -hmm. at the bottom. Uh, what else did I do to this? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. The back's different than the front, or in the back. Yeah, the back yeah. is different to the front. So you don't have the tears in the back. Um, and it's got a sleeve. Oh, we need a sleeve on the other one, I think, eh? The one-to-one. -one. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we can profile this a little bit more. There's only one of these. Mm -hmm. um, and there are, if you've got the velveteen jacket and you're brave and you're tall, uh, well, if you're short and you've got big mm -hmm. high platforms, you could do this as well. Uh, there's wide leg pant in these as well. Mm -hmm. So these are really going to fit a size 10 and 12, I would say. Uh, the velveteen pants are going to come through and that's the other copper colour mm. um, that goes with the velveteen jacket as well. So they're going to be all being sailed out, little pockets, nice flat waistband, elasticised at the back, uh, really long, designed for platformy. And if you've features. got the jackets, that yeah. is such a hot look right now, suits, mm -hmm. like, suits are massive, yeah. so it's a really yeah. great opportunity and I'm so surprised that they didn't because yeah. like it's suits are massive yeah so, 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 so every time i jacket, see you you're in a suit yeah, <laughs> yeah you've got the jacket Literally. grab these pants yeah. yeah yeah so you know the jackets ladies you've seen the velveteen jackets um so that's this is your opportunity to grab a little bargain mm. with the pants and underneath um we've got shirts i'm going to quickly show you these because i haven't Hello. i know i forgot to try them on and i just don't know if i still really want them but i'll let them go if i have to <laughs> uh so this is a very thick satin uh fabric the color on this in real life is so sparkly, vibrantly, jady, greeny, emeraldy, bright, and super, super on trend. Uh, we've got like a giant cuff here, a little bit of a puff here. I think I wanted more puff when I was designing. We were trying to decide why I didn't run these. Uh, again, the neckline is like our um, 
Puff blouse? Puff blouse, thank you. Uh, so it's nice and, and broad and through there. So it just stands nicely. A uh, little uh, cover button detail, keyhole back and through there. Uh, so you've got this color. Uh, you've got the dark, beautiful cerise. See, I should get that A-Ladies, I should. Mm. Uh, and the champagne, which I like. Now the champagne satin is thinner and finer. Probably a little bit more drapey. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas that's kind of a thicker, thicker, mm -hmm. heavier weight. Um, so that is that. And then I did one in cotton to see how it would feel because it's really a follow-on from um, from the puff blouse from summer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, oh, I did it in black too. I did a black version of it in the cotton. Oh, I like the black. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, racing through. Um, I also ran these over uh, over um, jackets with a little hoodie. They kind of costed out way too expensive for, um, for um, what I wanted them to be. So we didn't end up running them. Um, should I throw that on you? Maybe, Caitlin. Uh, so yeah, I've got a little bit of satin lining in through the, in through the front here and the back. Uh, again, it's a stretched rib knit fabric. We've got little thumb holes there. And it's, we can put it on, it'll come to life a little bit more, mm. I think. Um, so I don't even think I showed my retailers this, to be honest. Um, I imagined in my head when I put this garment together, I actually imagined that it would, <coughs> you'd wear black leggings, black top underneath it. Very slimline kind of look underneath it. Um, mm. But yeah, so that's it there. I, can't, I didn't put pockets on it, eh, either. Yep. Yep. I did? Oh, yep. yeah, I always put pockets in there. Yep. Oh, yep. so, and that full lining through oh, yeah. there. That's mm. yeah. Pockets in there. Yeah. Pockets in there. Yeah. So, yeah, so you've got this lining coming through there. Cute. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, and all the angles around the bottom line, yeah. it's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah lots of drawn movement. And there is one black one. Uh, I didn't put satin on that. I put um, a knit so fabric in that. Um, it's like an front. elevated cardi. I can have, mm. love that look of the long line cardi, but yeah. sometimes feels a bit cash. Yeah. Such an elevated version of that. Yeah. Handy piece. Yeah. Handy I love piece. that. Handy Very minute. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's, uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, I know. Disclaimer. Just major disclaimer. This is a very small fit. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be about a size six to eight. Yeah, to, to a flat chested eight without being disrespectful to anybody. Yeah, so but six, um, I, so I am a size that, eight to ten in and tops and it's too tight across, across my bust. Um, you squeezed yourself into it in a 12 and it really, yeah, Caitlin yeah. had it on and it was and very, very tight region. across her bust as well. So uh, if you are a size six um, with a bust, you'll be fine. Well, so if you're a size four. eight without a bust, you'll be fine in this as well. So this is hot property because we, everyone wants a black web wire top. Yeah, questions. Leslie would like to know, would the long cardi work for a five foot two shorty? Oh, so I'm put, five foot nothing, I'll put it on. I'll put it on. And uh, we can have a little look, <laughs> thanks. Um, I think that, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, Renee's laughing at me in the background. Does it look funny? Yeah. No. It's a little bit unusual with my with what I've got on. Okay, so I'm 160 centimeters. I am five foot, probably five foot one or five foot two. Um, and I've got just my little um, my little Lee boots on, mm -hmm. so I'm not wearing anything particularly high. And that's kind of the length that it. That it I think it'd be cool. I've taken if you had like the slimmer, yeah, like slim like jean slim or legging when you're lower, when you're yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, hope that's helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so have we got any more questions? Oh, yeah, I know, we had that lady. I need to address her little um, thing. So I'm just going to put my glasses on, ladies, and get back to you on this. So, um, so what we're going to try and do with these oh, yes. is um, I'm going to shoot some short like, videos talking through yeah. them, and we're going to pop them um, on the stories, so on Facebook stories and Instagram stories, and you'll be able to click directly to the website and that kind of thing as well. So okay. put them on there and we'll pop them on the website. And we'll put them on our those. Facebook clearance page. Yeah, we'll put them everywhere. Yeah, they'll be everywhere. everywhere. So you can watch them and there'll be links yeah. and stuff through to them. But yeah. just to show you how you can, mm -hmm. yeah, they move and etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that we should, is there any way you ladies would like to be informed that they actually have gone up? Like, is there any quick Yeah, what social media does yeah. everyone use yeah. the most what as well? Are you, what are you, where are you wanting to see it? 
um, you know, like, I know when we go live, you get like a little alert if you follow us that we're going live. Would you like us to go live and say, hey, we've just uploaded them all now? What you um, could do as well is put your um, notification bell on, on our socials, and then you'll get a notification when we post. When we post, yeah. And then on well, if we, it would be so good if we could say, hey, Maxie ladies. Instead of like a bell, it'd be like, hey, Maxie ladies. Mm. And you can see if you follow along on social um, stories, you'll see like a circle at the top when there's new stories and that kind of thing as oh, well. So okay. if you jump online, um, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all the things, all the things, Can't get rid of all it. the things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone got any suggestions? Some uh, Instagram, some just, Facebook. Yeah. Okay, good. Both. Oh, they're coming back to us. That's good. Uh, anyway, we've got a lovely, um, we've got a lovely, lovely email from Glenda. Um, who loves our video catch-ups, which is super cool. I feel like a lady that's like reading the old online chats. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, so um, she was wanting some advice around uh, wider-fitting um, footwear and things like that. And she picked up in one of our lives, we talked about the Pip boot, which is this boot here. Um, and that we talked about that it is a, a generally a wider fit, actually... Yeah, that is a pit boot there in the black rep toe. Um, rubber sole on that, um, lots of room in here. Uh, what I wanted to say to Glenda though, if you are watching, is a couple of things. Uh, give us a call uh, anytime. We can chat through with you directly. Uh, we can maybe even FaceTime and we can show you some bits and pieces. Um, but also, that, that the term wide fit is very, very, very general. Um, and so it's very, very, and it's very subjective. So we have a lot of people come in here first off the bat saying, oh my gosh, my foot's really wide and I can never find anything. And then they try on everything and everything's fine and we look at their foot, foot and we go, oh my gosh, there's nothing wrong with your foot. So, um, so, so Glenda, in terms of the width of your foot um, and things, it's, it's really difficult to give you a lot of advice just generally. Um, so generally we can say, yes, the pit boot is a good uh, fitter for broad feet, but if you've got a high instep, you're going to have trouble getting uh, getting down into the, uh, you know, getting through and getting fit across the instep area. So, um, you know, is it the width through the um, through the ball of the foot, or is it the width created through the arch of the foot? Uh, so that's that's I guess like where I'm going with the conversation quite hard. So, you've mentioned another couple of boots here uh, that are sail boots. Um, so so um, the Drake boot, which is that beautiful stretch boot, is going to be nice and comfortable. Uh, it's made on the same last as the Bay Band sneaker, uh, which has an absolute cult following, the sneaker. Um, so, so perhaps, Glenda, if you had something on the sole um, already, the um, Bay Band sole, um, or there's the Bay, Bay Pearl sole, uh, the drake is going to fit like that. So um, the, the sole print is going to fit like that. Um, the other one you mentioned is this boot here, which is on amazing sale at the moment. Where is it? I can't even... It's down. Oh, down the end? Down the oh, end. Down it's been oh. moved. Down in our sale area. Um, yeah. This little boot here, which is the Agent 21. Um, I'm going to say that it's got a, a very generous fit in through the calf, um, muscle area here so if you have got um, you know a, a bigger sized athletic muscle in through the back of the leg there's lots of room in through here lovely gusset to help with the ease of fit but again I would really encourage you to try these on at your local store mm -hmm. um, Glenda we noticed that you're from Invercargill um, so I would recommend going in to see uh, the team at Voyant Carolyn at Voyant um, I'd also recommend perhaps you pop in and see uh, the girls at H&J Smiths um, and in for cargo. Uh, if you're venturing further afield, we've got um, uh, so uh, in Press and Winton. Um, we also have um, in Gore. We've got uh, collective collective design in Gore. Um, uh, and obviously, if you're heading further afield um, up to Queenstown, go and see the girls at Girl Next Door. They've got a great selection as well. Um, and then you've got, uh, I mean, you can look up our website if you're heading to Dunedin. There's also lots of other outlets there. Um, but like I said, if you ever, if any of you ladies ever want some, um, you know, personalised service, um, we're more than happy if you phone in to chat through with you um, your size and what you what products you had from us before that work, mm. and then kind of give you some guidance um, with that knowledge of what has worked for you previously to help you get into something new that um, is going to work for you as well. So I hope, Glenda, that that has helped you with your question that you've asked. Um, have we got any other questions before we sign No, off? no other questions at the moment, no, I don't think. Deep, Unless they're hiding. Hiding? Yeah, they could be hiding. Um, alrighty, so we're going to crack on. Caitlin's going to put together those clothes for you. Uh, enjoy grabbing some of those um, sample pieces. 
Uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad to let them go, but, you know, got to move on. Um, I think that's about it for today. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, have a great day, ladies. Bye.